Okay, well hopefully she doesn't. Let's see what happens. Night night. Can I turn my Yep, I'll turn the night light on. So last week I shared with you a video where I showed you our day in the life first day back to school after we had the virus and well, there was a segment in there where I put Naomi to sleep and she had a pacifier and I, I don't know, I've never thought much of a pacifier. I've been in that school of thought that they make newer pacifiers now and so the old ones, you know, back in 10, 20 years ago were not as engineerically designed to make sure the teeth don't get bothered and it, whatever, all this stuff that is fed to you so you buy their product. That kind of thing, I was believing that and I was so focused on so many other things too that I just sometimes want her to get to sleep. Well, a couple people commented, and, and it doesn't bother me because that's why I do these videos in the first place, but a couple of people commented that I need to get rid of the pacifier, specifically Emily. She mentioned, hi Emily. Anyway, she commented that um, I should say bye to the pacifier because I should watch out for crooked teeth and if I want her to speak properly, then I just need to get rid of the pacifier. So I thought about that, I'm like, oh, man, she's right, because I forgot all about that stuff. And so today I went down to the speech therapist and we're talking about all this stuff, and then I said, what about the pacifier? She's still sucking the pacifier. First thing out of the speech therapist's mouth was, oh yeah, no, get rid of that tonight. So guess what we're doing? We're getting rid of it tonight. We did it during nap time today. She had no passy during nap time, but I was not home during her nap time, and her nap time was basically her falling asleep on the couch with her brothers and sisters as they watch TV. Anyway, she's doing okay right now. She's not asleep. Let's see what it looks like in an hour. It's 9.30 and everyone is still awake. She's having a party and they're still. She's opening and closing the dresser drawers. Her crib is right next to the dresser. Um, that's not gonna happen in the new house. And her sister is begging me to stick a pacifier in her mouth. I might have sister move into my bedroom tonight. So, but she'll probably still hear her. Okay, let's see what happens in an hour. Okay, Miss Naomi. What do you want? Eat. You wanna eat? No, we're not eating. No, we're not drinking. Can you go to sleep? Can you lay down? Why not? You're putting your hands on your hips. Are you tired? <laughs> you all, you better be tired. Yeah. It's 10.30, she's quiet right now, but that's because the kids are in there trying to, oh, I hope they didn't give her the pacifier. Did you give her the pacifier? I can't find it. Oh good, you can't find it. We're good. So as I was saying, it's 10.30 and everyone's awake. Except for Isaac. Oh, Isaac's asleep. <laughs> Went down. Part of me wonders if I should give her the pacifier to get her to sleep and then pull it out. I might turn on some white noise or music. Hey, do you guys want to listen to the ocean? Yes. Okay, pretty girl, you gotta go to sleep. Uh huh. Go to sleep. Lay down. <laughs> Big hug. Give me a hug. <laughs> what? Come on. Naomi. Naomi, lay down. No. Lay down. Go to sleep. All right, I'm gonna close the light, close the door, and leave you, okay, I'll change the music too. But good night. I won't close the door. It is now 10.45 at night, and everyone, everyone is asleep. Except for me. Go to bed. And one of my boys. Okay, so this was like kind of a boring night. She like went to sleep, like no problem. Well, I mean, she stayed up a little bit and she whined a little bit, but then she fell asleep. So it was not very dramatic. So, okay, let's see how tomorrow night goes. Day two. So I'm gonna put her to bed early before everyone else because she didn't have a nap today. 
And she didn't have a nap today because she didn't fall asleep in the car on the way home from therapy and I was like, you know what? I don't want to stay up till 11 o'clock tonight. So I'm going to put her to bed now. It is 8 o'clock. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I it's nine o'clock and I put my other kids to bed and she's out like a light. We take away her nap, she falls asleep without a pacifier, it's like not a big deal. Let's see what happens tomorrow. So today is day eleven approximately of this anti pacifier thing. Basically, sometimes us moms kind of hold on to things that we think our kids need when in reality they don't need them. I mean, we've been doing this non-pacifier thing successfully through nap time, and we even went on vacation for a week, and she didn't use a pacifier once. In fact, she didn't even sleep in a crib or pack and play. And so maybe the crib is the next thing I need to get rid of. However, not until we move because we're moving into a two-story house and um, she's not crawling out of that crib yet and I want some peace of mind when we get settled like probably December or January. I might just keep her in her crib for as long as I can. It's a lot to think about. I'll think about it later because it's not happening right now. <laughs> I'm just being honest, like for real. Now we did also make a nighttime routine video and if it's ready, I will go ahead and stick a link around my face right now. And we also made a morning routine video, so you should check those out if you're interested in seeing how we do this with our family and raising a daughter with Down syndrome. Like I said, my name is Leilani and if you liked this video, make sure to click on that subscribe button as well as that bell notification because we do upload videos twice a week and I would hate for you guys to miss out on our journey. This channel is all about homeschooling and parenting kids are kids that are exceptional kids. And so I hope you guys do consider journeying with us and until then, I will see you guys in our next video.